my name is Alicia and I'm a community nutrition educator at the Food Bank of Delaware. In each video, I will be highlighting a produce item and a simple recipe that you can prepare right in your own kitchen. For today's video, I will be talking about beet, which is part of the vegetables group of My Plate Icon. The beet is a plant in the amaranth family. The most well-known is the vegetable known as the garden beet. Another cultivated variety is the sugar beet, which is important in the production of table sugar. Other than as food, beets have been used as a food coloring and as a medicinal plant. Beets are available year-round, but are in season in the months of June, September, and October. Choose beets with firm, smooth skins and non-wilted leaves. To store beets, remove the leaves, leaving about an inch of the stems. Store roots in a plastic bag in the refrigerator for up to three weeks. Wash before cooking. Beets are fat-free, saturated fat-free, cholesterol-free, low sodium, and an excellent source of folate, which helps to make healthy red blood cells and lower a woman's risk of having a child with certain birth defects. My plate recommends that we aim to eat two and a half cups of vegetables per day. Eating half a cup of beets is a good source of folate. Wash your hands with warm water and soap for 20 seconds. To make this recipe, you will need a large pot, a medium bowl, measuring spoons, a cutting board, a knife, and a large spoon. Ingredients for this recipe include one pound of fresh whole beets, or about four beets, three tablespoons of lemon juice, or about one large lemon, three tablespoons of olive oil, half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. First, place unpeeled beets in a pot and add enough water to cover them. Next, place the pot on the stove and bring to a boil. Then, reduce the heat and simmer until tender, about 20 to 30 minutes. Remove from the heat and let cool slightly. Rub off the peels using two paper towels. Then, cut the beets into medium cubes and place in a bowl. Wear gloves to prevent the color of the beets from staining your hands. Next, add lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and black pepper. Then stir gently. Mm. 
Once combined, cover and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Sprinkle with parsley just before serving. That wraps up this week's lesson and demonstration. We hope that you've learned something new today and try this recipe at home. This video, along with other nutrition materials and recipes, are available on our website at www.fbd.org or check us out on social media. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.